Hey everyone! Ooh, sorry for those who had to wait a bit. Especially since apparently my stream monitor went out. What fun! Hey, wake up. There you go. What fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad you at least had the music to let you know that something was working. Ugh. All right. Where are we at this point in time? So, I think it's been another few years since we last uh, took a peek at what was happening on Earth. Uh, I think this is new. I formed the Republic of China. That's probably the biggest thing that's happened. Uh, also, I'm making some headway in Indonesia as I am officially forming the Southeast Asian Alliance. So I, I'm essentially trying to hem in this whole, uh, from India to East Asia, I'm trying to get control over all of this. Now, I did F up here. I did have a specific plan to make sure everything from, uh, is it still? I guess if you put the, yeah, it would still be Western Pakistan from Japan. But you see there's a little problem here. Tibet's free. And China's now this one province country over in the boonies. Uh, so originally, the plan was going to be a Republic of China would be as it is here. But India would actually get these two territories because before I had the Republic of China attack uh, mainland China, I gave China this one province of India, which they had a claim on. And because it's the highest population and kind of best performing province of uh, eastern China, my plan was for that to be the new Chinese capital. But, silly me, didn't realize that in having the armies of India join Taiwan in its invasion, they were probably going to want to take back the one piece of land they got, they, <laughs> they left behind. So India reformed, China got kicked over here, and became a two-province state. Surprise, surprise, high unrest after losing that war, and Tibet broke away. Uh, and unfortunately, this little rump state took the three nukes China had. So now Republic of China has none. So that wasn't the best executed plan, but I'm sticking to it. Mainly because it's too much work to go back and try and do it cleanly. Taiwan can't take it over with just one army, and Japan wouldn't have helped been too much of a help. <laughs> so that's where we are in 2034. Uh, I do want to take a look at the alien's presence in the solar system. Because I think I need to keep an eye out for a certain kind of ship they may be building. Yeah, it looks like they're content to just build these two ship fleets. I scared off one of their assault fleets. Uh, Alright. So that's what the aliens have. Uh, I have also done a bit of development in space, too. Uh, most notably, colonizing Mercury. I think I brought this up in an earlier stream, but Mercury is a great place to build stuff for, with solar panels because the power output is, I think, close to four times what you have on Earth, if not more. Uh, so I'm starting slow. I don't want to... My mission control uh, have a pretty wide gap here, but I don't want to build up a whole bunch of stuff and piss the aliens off while I can't defend it. Uh, so probably a lot of this is going to be Earth-focused while I work on getting my research buffed up so I can finally start uh, interrogating some aliens and finding out just why the hell they're invading Earth. While also building up a presence around Earth to make sure the aliens don't invade it. Because unfortunately we still have to deal with this servant control of the United States, which is a big effing problem. Uh, I think one of the I think one of the main things I'm going to have my agents focus focus on is really stirring up unrest in America because I want it to shatter. I'm not sure who's going to end up with 28 nukes, but it's <laughs> one weaker nation with 28 nukes is better than the whole of the United States with 28 nukes. 
All right, uh, so who do I have doing what? I've got you working on unrest in Indonesia. Actually, unrest in Indonesia is pretty okay. I don't need you working on that. How about increasing unrest in America? Zero percent. All right, how about convincing them to like me? 97. You go do we that, must then. must persuade the people. Yeah, go persuade them. Uh, magnesium Reporting in. is probably investigating someone. Who are you investigating? Oh, this guy. Um, take a look at Terra's loyalty. I want to make sure that that's doing okay. Initiating surveillance. Uh, Standing by. Public opinion in India isn't too bad. I think you could be doing something better, though. How about the EU? Yeah, the EU is serving controlled. I don't like them being in full control either. I will try to sway the public. Acknowledge. Uh. Do I really want. Do I really need this public opinion boost here? I need a uh, decrease on rest more so. But I also want it to be a better, more democratic country. You know, unrest isn't high, but it's problematic in a lot of places. I'll keep you there. Uh, what does Exodus Blue look like these days? Okay, okay, yeah. So, I did play a separate... I, I Just to get a little peek into how future events could play out, I did play a separate game to make sure I wasn't running myself into the ground prematurely. Uh, got all the way to 2040, so, so far so good. But... I do want to make sure my fleet tech is adequate. Okay, so I still have class 2 ships. What do my hull weapons look like? Oh, okay. That bad, huh? Alright, I'm probably going to need to start investing in some weapons tech. Oh, I already am. Thank you, past me. Uh, I think I'm going to start maxing our tech here, because this, this tech allows us to get our six counselor, which of course is just a whole leap forward in management. Uh, so I'm going to start helping out, helping out the protectorate here. Alright, and confirm at long last. What's the world view on the aliens? Well, let's find out. It looks like a majority of people want... Oh, well, not a plurality. 32% want to escape the aliens. 13% want to resist them. 5% want to destroy them. Only 6% want to submit. Even taking with Protectorate's point of view, it's only 15% of the population. Uh, so we're definitely taking the lead when it comes to getting the F out of Dodge. Uh, currently at war with Israel because we took over Bangladesh. I should probably stop that war, even though they're not doing anything. Unless I want to, I don't want to invade Israel. Yeah, they have a nuke. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I do want to make sure the army... Okay, good. So we are reconstructing the Chinese army with our new Republic of China. Uh, as for what the global view looks like, the initiative is taking control of Russia and decided to build a lot of armies. In fact, I think they've maxed out. Nope, they're still building more. Uh, so they're a bit of a powerhouse with their 30 nukes. And actually, they've been catching up with Miltech. It's 4.6 compared to the United States leading us in 5.4. But their, their armies look like that now. There's a gap. There's also some cool art of them. Person of interest surveilled. Terra's loyalty is 15. Okay, actually quite loyal. Also, I've been, of course, with my new developments, I've been building a few more stations. Got uh, Team Gong becoming the main research station. Uh, most of these other bases are primarily just mines. I have a memorial base and get the fuck out base have both uh, escalated in scale. Vandenberg Station is going to be my new shipyard, which means that I actually needs to get some upgrades. Uh, let's see here. Give me layer defense right here. Give me solar rays 42. Is that the only power generator I have? 
They're both 42. Oh boy, what fun. Alright, so we're gonna we're probably gonna lose out on all of the power generation here. Unless I I could leave those as small space docks, I guess. Yeah, sure. This will remain our military station, and we'll just see how much we can get out of it. stay there for a little bit, because now I'm hoping to send Magnesium and Terra over to... Okay, good. Those are done. Now, not yet. We're, these are going to be the next two ticks we look at in a little bit, but for now, I still want to make sure my weapons are up to snuff. Do I have any better point defense? No. I could do fleet combatants and get the next tier of ship. Yeah, I don't need Greater Indonesia and Malaysia. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Uh, don't need that. Might keep that if I take over Russia later. I'm still look. I'm still looking to take over Russia. I, I haven't stopped dreaming of just one Asia under me. Let's do maximum effort. That'll let us spend more resources. We've got a bunch of them. Alright. These were all October, October, November. That'll finish in December. That's next year. Oh, that's three years out. No one's contributing to this. I say nobody, but I guess three of the factions are. I guess this is a really expensive tech. What's it going to give me? Ah, coil batteries. Yeah, I need those. Crazy Jimmy, thank you for the 51 month resub. Uh, good game. Don't think I'll ever beat it. Yeah, so <laughs> you can play as the servants and win very easily. Uh, but yeah, the resistance game I first played to beat it, uh, I played that to completion, but it took me until I think 23. 50 2060 at the latest and once you have once you finally start out teching the aliens it's just kind of a slow march to victory as you just kind of hop to each base in the uh, around first the asteroid belt then in jupiter system then the saturn system then uranus then neptune then finally you get to the kuiper belt and start smacking bases down and it, it just it takes forever and it's not very fun at that point, because you, you'd win every engagement with the aliens, you just have to pin them down. I, I do think they have to work on the end game for a lot of the factions that need to get out to the Kuiper Belt to win. Fortunately, the Ark Society doesn't have to do that. They just have to build a big ship and leave. One of the reasons I was happy uh, Twitter supported this faction without knowing they supported this faction. Things are stabilizing. Actually, speaking of, uh, so how do the Rattlers compare? How do the Vipers compare to the Rattlers? Uh, less acceleration, but more Delta V, meaning they're slower, but they do a lot more damage. Oh, but there's a lot less of them in the bay too. Hmm. I'll call this the short bow. Make it a monitor. Put two vipers in the front, two point defense in the back. Give it two magazines, a good lithium heat sink. I got some new radiators too, they're spiky. Uh, and a quantum battery. Ooh, I need to get a new. I need to get better power plants. That's for sure. <sighs> oh, 
I'm going to do something a bit risky here. I'm going to actually try and build a ship that can... But it they don't have any acceleration. They're not going to be able to catch up, even if they have the Delta V. Hmm. Yeah, I think the Pulsar is going to be better for that. Ah, 400 water. I think we can make that work. Oh, but I have really shitty armor. Uh, yeah, everything's going to be able to run away from this ship. I don't think it deserves having that kind of very futuristic look there. <laughs> it's really just a big missile tube. Alright, save design. And we'll have... I called it the short bow. Why did, and it's a transport. Oh, come on, game. Sometimes this thing is really annoying. Yeah, trash that. The problem is, the fleet I built in orbit is enough to maybe smack down one or two alien ships, but they actually come at me with a dedicated attack fleet. It's going to be doomed. <sighs> we have identified a piece of orbital debris which will pass close to Vandenberg Station. Blow it the F up, because why else do we have this space defenses? <sighs> Alright, Republic of China is getting its armies back. They were... Uh, China had five armies when it was conquered, but when the nation receded, all of its armies suddenly blew up. Uh, so I'm just considering this a reconstitution of force, rather than a armies out of nothing. Your orders. Alright, you are going to start increasing unrest. Uh, okay, your odds are definitely higher here. The people demand justice. I mean, they demand a lot of things. They're in a European Union controlled by aliens. With not a lot of public support. So nano factories, that's something you missed out on, I think, because I did the whole research tree off camera. They're essentially com uh, factories in space using nano machines and whatnot. Uh, expensive when it comes to uh, monetary upkeep and power, but if you say built them around Mars, uh, they just print money. Especially if they're not if they're not building anything off the station, because otherwise they're con they're construction modules. But yeah, I'm making four hundred five whatever a month just off this station yeah the problem is it just costs a lot of upkeep a lot of water a lot of uh, hydrocarbons metals it's just a nice way to buoy your income if you're not uh, corrupting nations to rob them blind Lord of Endgame thank you for the 22 month resub People will come to our side. We are winning their hearts and minds. Public opinion. Oh, geez, why'd the percentage chance crash? The people find no justice today. Uh. Our efforts didn't have any effect. And a giant alien megafauna is rampaging through Panama. That's what happens, Protectorate, when you don't control that xenofauna. Turns into a monster. Now this one here, in Sri Lanka, I'm kind of letting happen. 
so I can destroy it and get research from it. Because otherwise they're too far away for me to kill them. Operation Get the Fuck Out is, uh, happening a bit slower than I'd hoped, but I'm consolidating some smart countries and hopefully we can really take off in the next couple of years. Alright, well, try again. I don't know why... Yeah, why was that 40% when otherwise I can get into 90? Down. China with a full democracy. So pretty. So I probably brought this up before in a, in a longer form. But, uh... My more long-term goal is to actually fuse the Republic of China with Japan. Uh, just to kind of further consolidate We're how much control points I have to manage. We've moved the needle. Uh, because that actually, that forms the Pacific Defense League, and that will let Death you take tyrants. control of Korea, the Philippines, part of Russia too, if I felt like it. Uh, it just turns, you know, the ten points I'm managing between here into six, even though the economy is going to be booming. All right, uh... I can't tell you to just keep doing that because I have to keep investing ops. Eh, I'll try. Oh, they're not even fighting! Ah, I keep forgetting this. I need to end this war. Now I'm getting blamed for an atrocity that didn't happen because no, even if they're at war, they're not fighting. Fine, here's some money. Leave me alone. I'll we end this stupid war. I used to security. take control of Bangladesh, of all things. And the servants have their own little fleet. Actually, let me see what they've been building. The Minotaur class frigate. What's on it? Actually, the same things I've been putting on my ships. Minus the rail cannon. Though it has a water heat sink, which means it might be prone to overheating if it fires that defense beam too much. Where is it? I don't see it! Uh, you go here. Tell them to end Heading war. To the capital. And done. Oh, okay, I remember this one. I even had a name for it. So, this station is Research and Space Hospitals. We get old people up into uh, free fall and alleviate, I assume, joint pain. I guess very rich old people. So I'll call this Respite Station. Don't ask why there's a layered defense array. We just can't trust space right now. We'll call it, we'll blame it on the orbital debris. The people will come to our side. The people will come to our side. The people will be free. Violence is abating. And then... Policy direction complete. 
confederate? Oh, yeah, no. Sri Lanka left the federation. Forgot about that. Oh, they never joined it. All right, there. Peace. Peace in our time between us and the country we have been fighting for four years. Just to make sure they pay their bill before leaving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a pretty solid airlock will do that, too. But guns help. Now, speaking of our counselors, I've, I've kitted them all out pretty much as most I can. Uh, now it's just allocating experience. We have uh, Problem Amir is the tech mogul. Very persuasive, very sciencey. Van Planet the Diplomat. Uh, pretty talky, but also can do a little bit of sneaky sneaky. Terra the Operative. A lot of investigation. But also very secure. Magnesium. The Kingpin. Good security. Good sneak sneak. Good stab stab. Also some good command. So very helpful in increasing unrest. In fact, while we're at it... Yeah, I, I, I want to see that espionage shaken to a 20. Nice round numbers. We have Bobado, the activist, who has already fulfilled the role as the persuasive guy, but I guess I'll just make sure he doesn't get killed. Making our case. We got an assassin. That would be Magnesium. High espionage is what you used to kill. Though I haven't been killing aliens. In fact, I haven't run across many aliens lately. Oh boy, a lot of stuff just finished. Take me there. I want to make sure. How are you managing the power? Not well. Uh, hmm. Turn off the defense arrays. Turn that on. I might have to sacrifice one of the space docks just to power most of this. Hmm. Well, hopefully anyone who wants to attack the station announces their presence, so I have enough time to turn that back on. And I remind myself that I've turned that stuff off. So, uh, next big plan is waiting about a month for this to cool down. This is my control over the executive at Indonesia. That's what's going to allow me to bring Indonesia into the uh, Southeast Asian Alliance. Uh, keep that. Nix that. Nix that. Get rid of that. Sure. <sighs> All right, now that we've done grip, oh, we've completed two of these at once. Perfect. All right, I'll have one of them be the Hydra interrogation, and that one I'll escalate to two. I don't want to have two high expensive ones happening, so let's get composite. Maybe nanotube armor. I'm not sure how much better nanotube armor is than composite. I just got the research. Do nanotube then, I guess. Completion in July. Ugh. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. The revolution is coming. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Oh, great. Things are cooling off. It automatically dirtied the planet. There, I've cleaned it up by zooming out. <laughs> I know the control point in Indonesia would be better defended. Vamp Planet, how, how are people liking us in America? Ooh, that's not a lot of headway, honestly. I mean, I, we had zero influence. I guess getting all the way up to 18 was something, but... Uh, I don't want to I'm take here. you off of this, but then again... We do have majority support. Well, plurality again. 
Alright, yeah, better that we don't lose a point. Securing our interests. We have full control over two very well-off countries. I'd rather not compromise on that. Making things safe for our people. Good for you. The people will come to our side. We've moved the needle. Long live the revolution. I see that xenofauna. Order is returning. That's gonna need to die. All right. So now we have maximum effort. Uh, we're not investing a lot in boost right now, so probably not worth doing that right now. Although we could do, yeah, better power generators for our ships. We have to do that. Especially when it's relatively cheap. Cops and robbers. Damn planet magnesium of subscribers' personal backgrounds have brought them into conflict. One of them's a kingpin, the other one's a cop. Before all this happened, the two of them were on different sides of justice, all this being the alien arrival, each considering the other an affront to their morals and way of life. I don't think the criminal cared, but all right. Now, the arrival of the aliens has forced them to work together in the name of the Ark Society, but that doesn't mean either is happy about it. They still view each other with deeply harbored suspicion, just way more excuse to pounce on the other. Uh, apparently, I can't have them do a buddy cop movie. Allowed when this counselor's investigation attribute is greater than 15. Eh, it's 12. Uh, so I can either have them both suffer and deal with it, which would cause both their loyalty to drop, or I can lose... I can have Vamp Plant's loyalty go up, but Magnesium gets arrested for six... Uh, essentially three months. Ooh, boy. Um... I really don't, I really can't deal with Magnesia being locked up. I'm just going to have to have them both suffer. Fortunately, there's a mission where I can have them in, get, have them be inspired to work together, but uh, that requires another counselor to not be doing something else, and I really want to break up these two blocks of servant support. So, that's where we're at. We'll make our appeal. Although I guess with the unrest in India and the Southeast Asian Alliance growing, I can't afford that for much longer. Plus, I need to bring them back to break open Indonesia so I can bring it into the Alliance. Uh, I'm actually going to have to do that this turn. Because I only have 11 days left on this count. Or is that 101? I can't quite tell. Is it 101? It really looks like 11. My own faction icon makes it confusing. Alright, hold on. We'll do it this way. Form Federation. I, yeah, of course, I know it's not 180 days already. Fuck it. Just do it. Come back, come back, come Warding back. In. You're not even making much progress here to begin with. Alright, uh, Crackdown... The initiative already hates me, so let's focus on them first. Targeting their key people. Terra. What's the op? You. Do, 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 do. Crack down on humanity first. Going after their people. Magnesium. Standing by for order. Get ready to f just purge it. Targeting the opposition. Anyone else get it purging? Part two. Reporting in. Ready for orders. Okay, if that's the case, no then you don't bother trying to get, just yeah try to purge it. Because if you crack down on it and fail, you're just Targeting going to invite opposition. someone else to come in and if you At crack down and service. succeed, no one can purge it. But someone else will come in next turn and probably do it. And I forgot what points you were all trying to purge. <sighs> Okay, what control point are you trying to crack down on? I'm going to have to do this over again. Okay, you're purging the humanity first. You crack down on humanity first. Targeting their key people. And you what? just go ahead and purge the legislature. I have a bunch of influence for Removing it. Removing our enemies. 
More ships for the Exodus Blue Fleet. Just go ahead and merge. Look at my little battle fleet. It's adorable. It's a little bit better than the lamb ships I sent to blow up that first alien vessel, but that was, what, five years ago now in game? So the thing is, I do want to have a fleet that's a little bit bigger than probably you would need to blow up a single alien ship because uh, these things are so fast they will automatically run away from the next ship to try and fight them. But you can do a thing where you pincer a fleet in orbit. Essentially, uh, you encircle it from two different directions so they can't run away. I'm simplifying the game terms, but uh, when you engage a ship, it locks up. You can't give it orders for a certain amount of time. So you can't order it to run when the next fleet shows up to fight it. So you always want to at least uh, have the numbers in half. I'll show that off once Exodus Blue gets a bit bigger. Maybe I'll blow up Vic, uh, Victor 6. Yeah, because that's 300 uh, Delta V. We definitely wouldn't be able to catch it unless we flanked it. Flanking in space! Actually, while we're doing this... Uh-oh. We've moved the needle. A cresting wave class mothership on its way to Earth. Crackdown complete. Good job. Well wait, I thought you were purging it. Public opinion is moving oh. in our direction. Wait, no, that was Vamp Planet. Oh, okay, nope, here we go. Here's a problem. Victor 65 and Victor 68, both en route to Earth, will be here in November of next year. Both of them carrying a vast sky assault carrier army carrier class or assault carrier class army carrier we don't know a lot about it but i have the benefit of playing this game before so i know those ships you do not want to reach earth or at least if they do reach earth you want to be able to fight them off uh we'll go ahead and call these fleets wrong button So, in one year's time, we need to be able to fight off two fleets, because one shows up right after the other. Fortunately, it doesn't look like anything else is reinforcing them. Except for maybe Victor 73. No, no, that'll be here this year. So we might have a chance. Minimize, minimize, minimize. We'll have to keep an eye on those two fleets. We have a year to prepare, but so much can happen in a year. We are in control now. Our people have taken control. All right, we've taken full control of Indonesia in one turn. Now we pretty much immediately need to... Actually, that's fine. I'm gonna hate how much it dips the mill tech, but eh, maybe it's worth keeping what they what they were doing. Like that. Eh. Uh, well, pfft. There's an easy way to doing that then. <laughs> I could have just, hold on, this is funny. I could have just, Uh, same effing thing. <laughs> Alright, so. Now, uh, I think I'm gonna try and focus on disrupting one of the Serpent Megastates at the, the time. Government must fall. That way I free up some people to still here. do some shit. The government must fall. 
Oh, he said that with much more bravado. They said it. Uh, I think it's a bit of a waste to have you doing that. Why don't you you go ahead and focus on the government must fall. Ready. Ready to go. On my way to the capital. So I'll bring Indonesia into the Alliance Federation, and then in a few months, it'll be ready to join the nation proper. And that'll help dip my uh, CP limit back below threshold. But I guess I'm destroying the EU now. <sighs> Sorry, folks. It was a good idea, or at least a nice one. Public opinion is moving in our direction. The people find it really? no justice today. One point off. Do it again. The uprising is underway. Yeah, why can't you be more like magnesium? Long live the revolution. Or vamp planet. Alright, go ahead and give me... Uh, actually... It's a bit long. It's a bit longer down the tech tree. But what if I tried to get Oh, that is really far down there. Yeah, I'd have to get the mission uh, the Molten Core tech. What does this lead to? Anything? Solid Core. Where is it? Yeah, I should have clicked on that. Pretty far away from any other good engine tech. Pulsar is the best we have so far. I could go for the Orion Drive, which is pretty good in the sense that you're spitting out a literal explosion and riding the blast wave. But I would still have to get the Pulse Drive tech. I wonder if I want to go down this road for the compact reactor. Mm, they're not much better than what I have right now. I mean, that's pretty good, but that probably takes a lot more text than just these on the table. fission systems. That's the problem. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, the Orion Drive is 15, is rated 15 on thrust. 16 a million newtons of force compared to, what, the Nerva Drive? With its 49,000. It's a very surprising engine. But at the same time, its exhaust velocity is only slightly better than what I'm getting with the Pulsar Drive. What you'd want, of course, is an engine that has good uh, thrust and exhaust velocity, but most of these are either one or the other until you get to, say, the torches, which is, where was it? Oh, yeah, the flux torch, which gives you a 14 and 12 rating. But those are, of course, so much far down the tree 
It's not exactly something to aim for right now when I'm just trying to get other stuff to work right. I mean, the advanced polish saw drive, of course. Is that already on here? Can I research it? If it's on here, then it might be the next thing I want to research. It's not. Then, yeah, definitely neither of these. Let's go for not fleet combatants. I still don't want to build the big ships yet. Actually, maybe I do. Battleships have more. Yeah. I could fill up the hard points on a battleship with a lot of stuff. But they're expensive. But what better type of ship to defend Earth with? Hmm. Okay, at least have... Oh, I can't have it running because I haven't picked a new project! Good. Da, 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 da. Don't feel like going to the higher radiators yet. Uh, maybe I'll do something down here. Ships are built 5% faster and investment increases. Sure, let's do alien robotics. It's going to take a while, but... Mission complete. Alright, Federate. There you go. Now, how much longer do I have to wait to bring you into the country? <sighs> July of 2035. Should probably defend interests while I have the chance. Believe me, these bastards have already read everything humanity's ever written. If we don't come up with some way to talk without them listening in, we've got less chance of survival than a hummingbird in a hurricane. Commander Fiona Ayawade, secure correspondence with colleague. That colleague being Philip Rhodes, date of birth, uh, February 27, 1977, Social Security number 07805-1120, on April 9th, 2018? Huh. That doesn't track. Surely she's talking about the aliens, but they didn't show up until 2022. Given that we will need to transmit highly sensitive and hugely complex information through space, potentially monitored by any number of forces unknown, making our data truly secure is an absolute imperative. We need truly unbreakable encryption to ensure any communication that cannot ever be read by anyone other than its intended recipient. It is our recent breakthrough in quantum computing that makes this possible. That might have happened off screen. <clears throat> but it is this uh, very same breakthrough that has made the need greater than ever before. With its ability to perform potentially billions of calculations simultaneously, a quantum computer would need to cr would, could crack even our most complex encryption systems in a heartbeat. The new quantum-generated encryption methods are thus required to ensure covert operations remain covert and to ensure our colonies and space ring vessels are safe from calamitous interference. Quantum key distribution has now been identified as the best path forwards, taking advantage as it uh, as it does of the highly unpredictable behavior of some atomic particles to generate encryption keys without further slowing long distance transmissions. For whoever can most most successfully implement this, a truly unhackable future awaits. Ta-da! Now, actually, they just got it back. Yeah, great. Well, it's already part of the Federation, so ha ha ha. In fact, I may if, if if the initiative wants to peck away at my control here, I'll let them. Because I don't need to be this far over my CP total. I'm already losing influence. Because I only needed executive control to join the Federation. Now that I'm a part of it, doesn't matter. I just need to have full control of it when I bring the nation into the Alliance, and I have to wait till July anyway. Uh, change that. It's now an imperative that we get. Oh, because we don't. It hasn't popped up yet. When covert operation shows up, I need to research that with all of my effort. Uh, this does not need all of my effort. Ah, there it is. No, oh, wait, no, it's down here. Covert operations. Ding, 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 ding. Even that goes down. Get that done in December. Perfect. 
And then we'll have a new person, and we'll get to name them. All right. Well, if it's our, if we already have to defend those points, might as well defend protecting that one our too. interests. Securing our control. New operative. Yeah, no, one of these these agents I've been having going running around doing stuff, I get one more of them. These other two are traitors. I have to I have to get them from other factions. We are winning their hearts and minds. The people will be free. Long live the revolution. Their leaders remain in power. Huzzah! Allows us to recruit an additional counselor. Increases our control point management by 10, which helps us with the Indo Indonesia problem. Alright. Take me there. We'll go back to researching alien robots. But now this one will get all the focus. This one will not. Alright, let's hire someone. Let's see what we got here. I think at this stage in the game, I want people who have good command and administration would help because then I can put more orgs on them but everything else I think it may be secondary it would help if I had more people that can that have investigation or espionage because essentially I have two good persuasion people uh, three actually because since poly that's damn planet and Amir are on the same level uh, actually yeah I probably want someone with good stats in these three categories and then administration as second uh so we have a spy, which is kind of okay. Administration's terrible. Works for the government. I think I might want a criminal. Commando. Okay, now this is good. Good command, good espionage. Administration sucks, but we can work with that. Uh, not bringing a lot else to the table, though. We have this executive which has pretty bad administration, but good command. I mean, bad espionage. Eh, not a lot of missions. Eh, crackdown and purge, that's something. Not, honestly, none of these people are really blowing me away with their tech. And I, yeah, the executive's 57. If, we, if the game goes for too many years, they're gonna get old. Maybe even die. Uh, we definitely don't need someone with better persuasion. We got too many people with that already. Their persuasion can suck. Uh, what's that? Okay, four, four, three, four. That's kind of pretty low across the board. And they're all government too, which kind of hamstrings what I can do with them. But this guy does have stabilized nation, which means I can at least throw them around my own countries and keep them from getting too much unrest. You don't have that ability, and your command's the best. You know, it might be leering you here. You're kind of old, you don't bring any income to the table, but you have good missions and your stats are okay. Though this administration may come back to haunt me. You're hired. Alright, now what can I equip you with right off the bat? Let's go ahead and give you some good administration. This will boost your investigation and espionage. Uh, this is kind of just well-rounded. Sure, take it. Now, can I buy you anything neat? We're kind of rich. Uh, this would give you some good, very good monthly income, but not much else. What's your administration right now with the help of these awards? Not gonna tell me. Kind of eyeball it. Uh, I mean, this gives you some espionage, which is something. See, the thing is, look at the Hong Kong Triad. Look at all that stuff. Two espionage. A lot of money. Problem is, your government. I can't give it to you. In fact, where's. Uh, Magnesium. Maybe I can take something away from you to let you have the triad. 
I have to take a lot away from you because it's a lot of low stars. <sighs> Would be nice if I had another criminal in the group. If I could give you MI6, that'd be something, but we don't have control over the UK, so that's pointless. We're all Australia, so again, can't take that. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else, at least help us get some money. There, not not a bet, not the best setup, but at least it's something. And when this ticks over, we'll be a much healthier cap. Hey, yes, hey, get out of here, resistance. Get out of here. This is my turf. Go focus on getting control of America. You've had those two control points since the start of the effing game, and you haven't done anything with them. All right, well... We have our new uh, person here, and they need to get named after a subscriber. So, Lord of Endgame, you always pop in just when I'm doing this stuff. Would you want to be this? You want to be this person? Are you Lord from the family endgame? Or should I put Lord of? Alright, Lord Endgame. Sorry, your first day your first day is going to be kind of boring. You're going to just make sure China doesn't get... Or actually, let's see. That's subversion, that's subversion, that's sub... Oh, that's actually the worst. You're going to be... You're going to go to Bangkok and help help it not we'll revolt. Turn down the heat. Uh, you... you got okay, they like us a lot already. They like us a lot still. How about you go to... Where did I just lose this control? Oh, the Alliance. Protecting our interests. All right. Making things safe for our people. And the resistance stole our research into the Griffin autopsy. That's fine. They need to be better at fighting the aliens. I want them to be better, so that way I don't have to be Public better. Opinion is moving in our direction. Things are stabilizing. Good job, Endgame. You stick around there for a little bit. Make sure they don't. The uprising is underway. All right, how's the revolution you is doing? coming? Okay, we've got the it to strife. Is coming. So the EU isn't that big. It picked up Portugal, some countries in the Balkans, and then Finland. So having it shatter isn't going to do as much as breaking up America, but if this can be a nice test bed for breaking up a servant super state, all the, all the better. Uh, how are actually the resources split right now? Resistance could handle a country or two. Unfortunately, the servants can handle a lot more, but they can't handle a lot more in space. Protectorate can handle a lot more. The Academy is completely hamstrung. They have no real country to back them up. I almost feel sorry for them. At the very least, the Academy might be able to swoop in here and take and take it over once I once I shatter it. I'm gonna keep saying I'm shattering it because it sounds cool. All right, uh, you go to India. Make sure they like. I me. will tell our story. Uh, the you know one of the end goals having Texas secede would definitely help because guess what Texas gets a claim on all of that. In fact, actually, the Republic of Texas gets a claim on Denver. Go figure. Yeah, so they can claim this region, this region. I think. Yep, they also have a claim on Monterey. So <laughs> the Republic of Texas. I find this a bit funny. Can't just. It's not just Texas. It's also the Midwest. And northern Mexico. The Republic of Texas in this game is ambitious. Alright, so Exodus Blue, go ahead and gobble up those ships. Our 
armada grows especially now that we have about 10 months before the carriers arrive the people will come to our side violence is abating the revolution I mean, no, the Republic of Texas going. is limited to these three the reasons. The thing about breaking free. up America is that a whole bunch of nations would rise out of it. Way. Our case remains unheard. Like, I th the biggest successor state would be the Dominion of America, which gets a claim on Atlanta, Minneapolis, uh, Chicago, and... Yeah, the successor state is uh, would be the Dominion of America, which would essentially be this area here. Anchorage falls to the First Nation. Or maybe just Alaska. Apparently it can just turn into Alaska. Go figure. Alright, back to the time warp. Oh, I need to have someone come over here and blow up this Xenofauna, too. Oh, someone blew up the Xenofauna in Sri Lanka, go figure. Brazil has proposed ending its rivalry with the Southeast Asian Alliance. I'm not sure why I had bad relations with Brazil, but sure. So, the game is currently bugged. I forgot about that bit, because I fixed it in the different save. Uh, uh, this should have popped up when we finished the Deep Space Skywatch research. As you can see, never did. So, uh, it's a bit of a headache to fix right now. I think what will happen is, once we finish this session, I'll go back into the save, fix that, and so the next time we start up, I'll probably will have built the Deep Space Telescope. That essentially helps you find where the heck you're running to. But for now, breaking Europe, and maybe America, with a bit more effort. This time with feeling. Ready for orders. All right, can I give you anything new? No, I have to increase your administration. Actually, are there any orgs other people have that I can pass off to him? I could give him the CIA. That would definitely be something, wouldn't it? Oh, wait, no, I can't, because he's not... I forget how that works. Variant Planet's American, so I can definitely give him that. But is it just, if I have him as American, I can give it to someone else? Faction must have control point. Or a counselor from there. Okay, no, so it seems like I can give this to Endgame. That may be beneficial. I'm gonna unequip it. Oh, I can't, because it's, it's the admin that's giving him the boost. Hmm. Uh, what would your admin be without it? Uh, pretty low. So I could give you two administration, but would that be enough to cover it? It wouldn't. I'd have to give you at least three. Alright, so let's not do that right now. Uh, I 
and another country just went. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. I gotta just start Standing pulling by. people out of this. Making things safe for our people. And by some people, I mean Terra and only Terra. <laughs> Moving on. Protecting our interests. Ah, oh, good. And Brazil has been reconquered by the resistance. Because the United States Public cannot stop but invade. So here's 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 Things the rub with America. Off. The uprising is underway. Good. Uh it's not that hard to get public opinion boost in it because of the media. But every time a country goes to war and wins, they get a boost to their cohesion, which makes it harder for unrest missions to work. Uh, and unfortunately, surprise, surprise, America has been in a lot of wars. They keep invading Brazil, so it keeps changing hands. Sometimes they invade the Middle East. Shocking, I know. Uh, but of course, because they declare war like once every year, their cohesion's great. So that's what's going to be the biggest hurdle in dealing with this. Because even if I got my public opinion boost to probably 30, which I think is one of the main... Again, it's, it's hard to also change public opinion with cohesion's that high. Uh, it's just going to be hard to break it up. The people will come to our side. They really need to lose a war, but they I I can't keep throwing I can't throw my weight around it because if they start losing, they start nuking. Can you go over the factions really quick again? Uh, as to what they control or what they represent? Store in order. Okay, represent. Ready for my uh, mission. Let me just. Oh, it got so unstable. Magnesium's paranoid trait kicked in. Whoopsie. All right, how about you come back to? Yeah, you do this. We'll make things safe. Terra can go Where back to? to making things unstable. We will bring it down. So factions, what do they represent? Uh, you have our faction, the Ark Society, which, in response to the alien arrival, believes that it's better for humanity to accelerate its uh, development into space. They want to essentially leave. The Resistance wants to fight the aliens without compromising uh, human society. Essentially, they want the aliens to leave us alone. They don't want to exterminate the aliens if they are not a threat. Humanity First wants to exterminate the aliens, whether they present a threat or not. Uh, the initiative is, very, is various powers that seek to exploit the alien arrival for personal benefit. They are the Illuminati. The servants are alien simps. They just want to have the aliens uh, dominate humanity because humanity's done a terrible job running its, running its own. Uh, the Protectorate wants... They don't simp for the aliens, they just think we can't beat the aliens. So they would rather try to find some sort of working relationship with the aliens where humanity can still be left alone. Uh, they, they are victor actually during the uh, intermittent, while I was playing the game solo, they announced what their objective is. Construct an array of battle stations above Earth to appease aliens. Those battle stations are intended to keep humans on Earth. So that's when I was when I was saying, like, I think back during the beginning of the game that the Protectorate were on my shit list uh, because they're the ones diametrically opposed to Project Exodus, at least on paper. They do not want us to leave Earth, while Project Exodus, the Ark Society, wants to get out of Dodge. And then you have the Academy, which wants to build up... They want to build the Federation. <laughs> they think... They think they can talk to the aliens and, uh, through gaining a position of strength, gain, uh, if not an alliance, at least a ceasefire. Convince the aliens that we are equals. That's, the, their, that's what their goal is. But you need to blow up alien ships to make the stations. The I don't. Do you need to exotics to build the they space stations? I haven't. I haven't played Jeff, the protectorate to their tyrants. end goal. The people will be free. 
our cause is unjustified to them. Uh, if you want an example of an academy playthrough, go to YouTube and look for uh, Perun Gaming. Uh, P E R U N Gaming. He has a harder playthrough where he plays as the academy, and you can and you can get an idea of how they accomplish their goal. They're not totally naive when you get closer to their end game. That is weird that you need exotics to build the protector of battle stations. I did not know that. I'm actually working on writing an after action report focusing on the protectorate from like a more narrative standpoint. The problem is it's taking forever to write. So I haven't made much progress in the game. It's not about who has the biggest gun. Sometimes it's not even about who's got the most guns. Often, it simply comes down to who can reload fastest. Colonel Hans Castillo, five moves ahead. Cancel before publication. Probably because his, he committed a war crime. Unlike a chemical battery, an electrostatic capacitor charges almost instantly and does not readily wear out, but it can only contain a minute quantity of energy. As our power needs to snowball, now as our power needs snowball, we require a best of both worlds solution. The capacity of a battery and the charging speed of a capacitor. The primary obstacle until now has been one of mass. A capacitor with storage to rival that of our largest batteries would require prohibitively enormous and heavy metal plates. It is, our it is our recent discoveries in the field of carbon manipulation that we can resolve this. We can both reduce the width of the insulating barrier between two conducting plates at a molecular level. Oh, I said that wrong. We can both reduce the width of the insulating barrier between the two conducting between the two conducting plates at a molecular level. Therefore, reducing the supercapacitor's overall size, and we can coat the plates in new porous nanomaterials that effectively increase the surface area without increasing the plate size. In short, rather than swell our capacitors to unworkable sizes, we can instead increase the effectiveness at an atomic level. Several of these arranged in a series will replicate the capacity of a battery, while retaining their lightning-fast storage and release of energy which in turn will feed the vast power requirements of our next generation weapons, which will be very powerful arc lasers and coil guns, which are different from rail guns, which I, we already have, probably off camera. And we have the mothership in orbit. Sadly, I there's no ship for scale, but this is actually quite large. Like, imagine uh, a, a destroyer. Our monitor is probably as long as here to here. Maybe right about here. Just to give you a size of scale. Do I have any information about this? Oh, well, here you go. It's 600 meters long and 60 meters wide. So imagine more than half a kilometer and that's how long this fucker is. And on top of that, it has uh, not three, not six, but more than... Oh, fuck, I was going to say nine, but then I forgot it scrolled. Look at all this shit. This thing's a fleet in and of itself. And on top of that, it has laser batteries, which I have no counter against. Uh, and it doesn't... Okay, well, small, small uh, silver lining. It does not have a weapon I know I have absolutely no defense against, and one shot would blow up any of my ships. So, uh, yeah, sustaining river. Go figure. And also 30 plates in the front. I can barely put 10 on mine. So I'm not fucking with this thing while it's in orbit, and hopefully it's not fucking with me. Nuke the mothership. Sadly, we do not have a uh, surface-to-orbit weaponry that, are, that is capable of hitting these things. And even if we did, they have this thing has six-point defense batteries. It's shooting down anything that comes near it, which means my normal strategy of firing of just firing so many missiles that are overwhelmed isn't going to work. 
How long's a meter? It's about a yard. So, very roughly, multiply 600 by 3. And then you have feet. If you want a nice comparison, look up skyscraper height in meters and see how many buildings are uh, shorter than that mothership if stood on end to end. Well, fortunately, so this degrades over time. I'd have to capture an alien to see the accurate measurement, but by our estimation, the aliens do not think much of us with just one threat pip on the monitor. Oh, hold on. There was a fight. A space battle has taken place between the forces of the aliens and the Protectorate. No. Oh. We've detected a new Protectorate fleet. Well, where was the battle? Okay. It looks like they fought the mothership. Or the mothership fought them. Uh. It apparently fought this fleet? Yes. Papa 1 and Papa 4. Both of which are very damaged. Ugh, these things, these, this was their first generation of spacecraft. Surprisingly, uh, looks like it may have been a draw. The mothership was damaged, lightly, but it did not finish them off. Uh, it was probably going after the space station, which is also undamaged, but also undefended. Speaking of, how's my space station looking? No, not the plant, the space station. There we go. Still going good. If I can, if nothing Bobby exciting happens, I'll do like a skirmish fight between is between the Exodus the Blue Fleet and the mothership, free. or maybe I'll just have them attack Public it. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Oh wait, no, Things we'll we'll have the invasion fleet show up, so there's something. Oh, there's another fight. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's not do that. Ooh, boy. Ooh, made me dizzy. Uh, all right, Mothership's leaving. It's heading back to the asteroid belt, probably. What about the ship it fought? Where is it? Ah. Wait, you repaired? You were able to repair the fleets? Okay, just how did you win this fight? Especially with your... Ugh, very shitty ships. If I were to attack that with my monitors, they'd all be dead. I'm not jealous. I'm just annoyed. Yeah, 10 inch cannons. And nothing else. These are like naval cannons they strapped onto a spaceship. Now I feel like I have to show off a fight with a mothership just to see how much it could curve scomp you. keep forgetting to hold on you go you go over there and deal with that I'm sick and tired of forgetting to use a counselor for that oh lord endgame you're available why don't you deal with that then it's not exactly killing aliens Taking but it, you it know too. you're killing something kind of like living plants all of all this purple gunk on the ground you're killing it Ah, 
Ah, now we're building the short bows. Now I'm feeling a bit more confident about the fleet on its way. Yeah, see, that's, that's a nice little armada we got there. How many more do we think we can build before it shows up? November 26. We have to we have to build enough to flank it, or else it's just gonna run away. Uh let's continue with the short bows. Okay, 135 days. So four months. This is slightly more than three months. So these will all be done in July. And we can have one more round. I think that's probably as much as I can build up anymore in my view. Wait, what? Ah, uh, why are you in Argentina? I clicked on that thing specifically and told you to do... Well, I guess you're helping the resistance with their Xenophama problem this turn. And it's cl specifically clicked on the one in the Quetel region. I have no idea how to pronounce that, just assuming Qua. Alright, well... Yeah, <laughs> you got lost! <laughs> just flying over... This looks like the Indian Ocean. How do you tell the difference? We've moved the needle. The uprising is underway. Death to tyrants. Okay, how's the EU They're doing? Winning their hearts and minds. Our efforts didn't Still in guerrilla war. Target destroyed. Alright, you, you destroyed about half of the xenophana in Argentina. Be happy. This time, go here. Okay, alien forms, got that. 85. Heading to the LZ. There you are. Night running. Ugh. We are winning their hearts and minds. The revolution is coming. The revolution is coming. We've moved the needle. 86%. Much better. Score one for the good guys. Here we go. Since the Hydra language is an al- uh, Oh, wow. ag lut -tinibit. ag -lut Okay, I'm looking this one up. I'm interested in how to pronounce that. Agglutinative. Okay, actually, it, it sounds a lot like it lo how it looks. Agglutinative. agglutinative. Since the hydro language is an agglutinative tonal language based primarily around oil factory emissions, it has taken incredible time and patience to divine useful meaning from our captives' multisensory declarations. Every failure is an opportunity to learn, of course. Each unfortunate dead end, uh, our questioning reached only granted a greater insight into the alien's strange language. After countless such stumbles, a discourse of sorts has been established. The first ever human-to-alien dialogue. It would be a momentous occasion where the situation not so grim. Our Hydra identifies itself as an engineer, uh, technician, and sub-leader, perhaps equivalent to our positions of manager or team supervisor. It claims to be a member of the defense consensus, perhaps some Hydra corporation or government program? Further interrogation concerning the Hydra species was unfortunately unproductive. The Hydra seems excessively confident that its species will successfully conquer the Earth, and sadly, history appears to be on its side in this regard. They have invaded the homeworlds of two other species and conquered them without difficulty. Frustratingly, the Hydra flatly refuses to provide any information on their faster-than-light technology, except to boast of the superiority it gives them. Several of our more morally flexible members have suggested enhanced interrogation techniques, but the majority of our personnel are still uncomfortable with such measures. Besides, there's no guarantee we'll learn anything useful. 
For now, when it comes to extracting technical information from the Hydra, we are in an impasse. On a more positive note, we have learned a great deal about the Hydra's astronomical location. Their empire is relatively small, consisting of inhabited worlds only, around only three stars, Zeta Tacune, Alpha Mense, and their homeworld, Delta Vibronis, Pavonis, which is the name of the developer of the game. Well, Pavonis Interactive, so surprise. Given their, our success in this regard and our lack of progress in others, we have decided to deprioritize further interrogation of the Hydra. Our researchers will have to access and will, will have access and will continue to interact with it and refine our translation methods, but our priority will shift to locating a suitable star system for our project. Now you can do exotic materials. In a tube armor. Now, how about maybe now we do fleet combatants? Not too sure. I don't want to do anything around here until we get arc lasers and coil guns because most of this tech, this mil tech, is really only good against human ships. Uh, uh, okay, I, I can deal with that being done at the end of the year. So that is, this is what we need the Deep Space Telescope for, but I'd have to essentially mod the game to let the tech work. Alright, um... Wow. None of the factions have really fought the Xenoflama... Xenoflana. <laughs> Xenofauna, have they? Uh, why don't you go to the EU and start disrupting their shit? The people demand justice. Uh, how is unrest in our corner? Ooh, it's actually pretty high. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Go to India and help them deal with that. We'll make things safe. We definitely don't have to deal with a guerrilla war, but I'd rather not have strife. Anything, anything above peaceful unrest, and you have negatives to your values. Surprise, just uh, surprise, surprise. Two billion people can't all agree on something. Actually, yeah. So let's see. Two billion. One point five billion. 3 million, 120 million. So that's almost 4 billion people uh, in the countries under my control. For a total population of, I think we're at 9.5? 9.1. So almost half the planet is in my sphere of control. That's nice to think about. People will come to our side. Long live the revolution! Long live the revolution. It's okay, Endgame. That's a pretty We're shitty role. Keep security. working on it. Public opinion remains unmoved. Our efforts didn't have any effect. <sighs> Alright, new army deployed. That's five armies? Okay, deprioritize that in favor of making sure these armies have a navy again get somewhere. So we have 10 armies under our control. Actually, 11. Forgot the Japanese army. Which can't go anywhere? Can't go anywhere. Because I did not... Well, okay, hold on. You know what? If it's going to be 1.5 away, I'll just directly invest in it. There. Now that army can go places! Oh, no wonder you've been failing. We'll turn down the heat. Ready for my mission. Securing our interests. Hey, a freaking mango! We update our intelligence estimate about how the aliens regard our faction with accurate information. We are now able to undertake their purpose. Parasite resistance. More important. So I guess letting them getting more information about how they regard our I, I mean the thing is if they don't like humanity they don't want us to leave because then they're just harder to pin down but maybe I'll have that follow this project what how expensive is it another two uh, twenty thousand not a fan especially when the one I'm doing right now is gonna take until October actually it's not too much of a wait 
Man, my research is going up. Protecting our interests. Oh, and we gave the Southeast Asian Alliance an army. Did I tell you to do that? I must have. But at the same time, huh. Oh, I see what happened. I thought I was doing this for the Alliance, but I wasn't. Okay, well, go away. You can give it a navy if you want. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. The uprising is underway. The uprising is underway. The situation remains chaotic. Order is returning. Oh man, this, uh, they had someone breeze through here and really crash that un unrest. It needs to go all the way to 10 before it breaks up. That. I just sway them up Japan to just milled out. Service. Okay, um. Keep focusing on this. Restoring order. How about Ready for your order. you come over here and secure Japan for one turn? Securing our control. <laughs> Securing our interests. Wrong button. Uh, actually, while we're here, would you upgrade this with nano? Oh, finally, I get to compare. So about half the weight. Marginal improvement. That is obsolete. Go ahead and cancel the pending. Have it work on the Mark II. Though I guess, hold on, I just did that wrong. Because now I need to refit the short bows I already have. you that this is a problem. Can I not refit? Oh, wait. No, that's still... I feel like I... Whatever. The people will be free! Long live the revolution. Order is returning. The people will come to our side. Violence is abating. United States is going to war with Iceland. What did Iceland ever do to you guys? And you see, this is the problem. It's a very easy war for them to win, so it's going to be another boost to their monolithic cohesion. They've essentially turned the United States into China. 
Though it is still a flawed democracy. They lied about having eyes. I guess that is a good reason to go to war. How dare you not have eyes? too fast sometimes. <laughs> Alright, back to EU. I will tell our story. What's the op? We'll restore peace to this nation. Nation. have most of this though. Don't feel like giving you another one that just does the same thing plus one investigation. Honestly, I need a good government org that gives you uh, gives you administration. Uh I think I'll let one more phase take over. Oh, I, I, I definitely don't want you guys to miss out on when the assault the carriers show up in Earth orbit. But then again, I guess the all I need to do is, is the save the tyrants. Public opinion is moving in our direction. Things are stabilizing. Okay, we were so unable to increase security. This happens. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I can still make that work. Um. Or... That's what I'm looking to do. Save design. Or wait, didn't I? I already did do that. No, no, no. Not that. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. Hey! Stop that. Why do we have to be enemies? I'm not even fighting you. All right. So I did promise that if nothing really interesting was happening, I'd go ahead and do a mock battle, just so I can, you can guys can see just how much of an effing jerk that mothership would have been. So I think, I think I should be able to go to the main menu and set up a skirmish. The game doesn't crash right here. It does not like going back to the menu. Why are you stopping play? All right, skirmish. Go away, go away, go away. It's up for you, I guess. You turn into mothership. Go away, go away, go away. You become Project Exodus. Uh, let me go ahead and set this up because I know I'm going to forget if I do it differently. Can I... So I can't import a ship. Oh, import from save. This one. Don't import all of them, most of them suck. Okay, okay, good, that worked. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Did you add all of them? Ooh, you did. We're gonna have to talk about that. All right, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine? Let's do ten. Uh, so, 
with 10 of these, I just barely scratch the mothership's combat power. But is it enough for it to fight? Let's find out. Why does the game black screen on the loading? It's so weird. All right, so the short bow was designed to not only fire off a bunch of missiles, but also screen its nearby ships with its point defense battery. So ideally, when it's fighting one, two, three, maybe even with this number, half of its number of alien ships, it should be able to knock down whatever the aliens are shooting and, you know, Matt Cross m missile barrage them into oblivion. But this thing's a bit of a bitch, so... I'll do, the, I'll do them a bit of a favor. I'll have them retract the radiator so they don't get blown off and they overheat. But uh, this formation is actually, unless I can move the whole formation to match, it's it's probably the best formation to do to fight this thing. However, I will have all the ships lock. No, don't stop. Lock. Uh, so their front armor is facing the mothership at all times. Because that's the only place I really put any armor. <laughs> So they might actually survive a shot or two if I let them do that. Okay, and now I'll pick up the pace. I'll take a moment to admire our ship here well, when they don't have a shadow being cast on them. Whoop, okay, yep, it fired that really quick. Oh, so it does have that. Okay, so that's a, uh, that's a bolt of plasma. You can't counter that. It's just a ball of super hot gas. Uh, so the only thing you can do is tank it with your armor, and that monitor tanked three shots. Uh, so the main problem here is probably just going to be surviving until the missiles can actually get anywhere close to the ship. So every time you see a ship blow up for almost no reason, it's probably because it got hit with a bunch of uh, plasma shots. Kill shot, boom. Oh, actually, it survived that one. Oh, and it's firing lasers too, which again I can't counter. All right, well here come here comes the solid projectiles. The point defense is doing great on those. So that's uh, three ships down, or two, two ships. So the, uh, it looks like our armor is able to handle the lasers somewhat well. It's only the plasma that's making it a big problem. But that's, that's plasma is always going to be a problem. The only thing you can do is hope you have your armor is good enough to take it. See, see it's, the point defense idea is somewhat working. That shit's not making it through. But the mothership has just enough weapon hard points, it doesn't need to just rely on its guns and lasers. I mean, guns and uh, missiles. It can fire plasma, it can fire lasers, and then you're fucked. All right, well, let's see if we live long enough for these missiles to reach their target. Oh, and here comes the PD. Now, fortunately, the AI for the mothership, or the AI in general, prefers having its lasers also work as extra point defense. So once the missiles get in range, it's not going to be shooting missiles at the ships anymore. It's just going to be shooting the plasma. So that's the one thing you can kind of game the system on. But as you can see, with the lasers working like that, it can pretty much shoot down every single missile. Oh, okay. Nope, they're closing the gap. Here we go. And this, this, oh, this is going to do it. This is going to do it. Oh, but you look. It took two-thirds of that barrage before finally blowing up. And it destroyed uh, almost half the fleet. So yeah. And that's just one mothership. Uh, so we pro we might, might have been able to kill the one that showed up in orbit around Earth. But it would have hampered any sort of defense strategy we had for months. And that's why you gotta be careful. This, I, I, the tech I have, uh, hard to say. I, I don't know if I'd call it mid-game or late-early game. 
Uh, but this is definitely tech you, that would give you supremacy over the human factions. The aliens can still hit you on the chin pretty hard, unless you overwhelm them. Alright, are we done here? It blew up. So that'll ever gonna end? There you go. Well, take that, Sacred Vision. Both sides to part of the battle? No, fuck that. It blew up. Gotta work on that game. Alright, well, glad I could at least give you a battle to close things out on, but this was very much just a, you know, trying to trying to forge that coalition. Uh, but that is going to be it for me tonight, folks. I'll be back tomorrow with more uh, Persona 5 Royal. I think, yeah, we'll be finishing Futaba's Palace, and then we'll see what else the summer has. For now, however, I will hand you off to Nick, who is going through Mario Galaxy, and I hope you all have a... I didn't hit enter again. Hit enter. Hit enter. Don't do the wrap-up while you still have 10 seconds for the raid, you idiot! <laughs> hope you all have a good Thursday night. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles!